Contemptible Megan. Widdicombe celebrates Morgan's Ofcom win, Sussexes were professional victims. Former Brexit MEP Anne Widdicombe said she was cheering at Ofcom clearing Piers Morgan against complaints levelled against him over Meghan Markle before explaining the Sussexes were professional victims. Anne Widdicombe spoke and was overjoyed at Ofcom rejecting complaints levelled towards Piers Morgan over his Good Morning Britain outburst against Meghan Markle. The free speech champion said Meghan has had a dreadful influence on Prince Harry and welcomed the Ofcom ruling as the Duchess needed cutting down to size. Ms Widdicombe also then took aim at the couple and ridiculed their moaning when they lived in a large Californian mansion. Back in March, Mr Morgan departed from Good Morning Britain following huge backlash after he questioned the legitimacy of Meghan Markle's claims during the Oprah Winfrey interview. The day after the interview aired, Mr Morgan rejected Meghan's mental health worries stating he did not believe a word she said and said her attacks on the royal family were contemptible. A record 58,000 complaints were then sent to Ofcom with one reportedly from the Duchess of Sussex herself. However, the media regulator rejected all of the complaints stating they did not want to stifle national debate but made it clear they did not necessarily agree with the points made. Speaking, Ms. Widdicombe was asked her thoughts on the decision. She said, Oh I'm cheering, cheering, I have tried to keep my column as much as I can a Sussex free zone because they thrive on the publicity. But I'm making an exception on this occasion because I'm positively cheering. I think it is high time Meghan was cut down to size, I think she's had the most dreadful influence on Harry. If ever I made a prediction that was true it was the one that I made on Big Brother and was reviled for the time when I said she could be trouble. Well, I don't think anybody's wondering why I said that. Ms Widdicombe then turned her eyes to the Sussex's general attitude and took aim at their victim mentality. She added, but on a more serious note, I think Harry is very damaging to the royals, he must be personally very hurtful to the Queen. And I think they should keep quiet, I mean they are privileged beyond belief and they moan that they will cut off financially. What a joke, $11 million California mansion, and it's just unbelievable. They are privileged, they are professional victims, they are professional whingers and having said that they wanted privacy they've done nothing except publicize every last detail of life. Ms. Widdicombe concluded, in the end, many people will simply laugh at the couple. Good Morning Britain's ratings took an embarrassing dive on the first Monday morning without Piers Morgan since he sensationally quit in a smash hit final episode. The ITV morning show has been left with a hole in its lineup after Mr Morgan, who transformed GMB from a ratings flop, stormed off camera during a heated on air over his criticism of Meghan Markle last Tuesday. Yesterday, Ben Shepard, who traditionally co-hosts the show on Thursdays and Fridays, stepped into Mr Morgan's empty chair alongside Susanna Reid. But the show's ratings took a hit, with its average viewers down by 255,700 compared to last Monday. Yesterday's show had just 1.3 million people tuning in at its peak, with an average of 895,700 viewers. For comparison, one Monday prior, on March 8 to the first 0.9 million viewers tuned in to watch the panel react to the Meghan and Harry Oprah interview which aired overnight. Its viewership averaged out at 1,151,400 million. And yesterday's views were also down on the Monday before that. On March 1, GMB's peak viewers hit 1.7 million, with an average of 978,000. Mr. Morgan's final episode last week was a ratings hit, beating BBC Breakfast's viewing figures for the first time ever. But the ratings rapidly dipped again following Mr. Morgan's departure, with Breakfast winning out over GMB on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Mr. Morgan presented Good Morning Britain from Monday to Wednesday. Ranveer Singh covered his Wednesday slot last week following his resignation.